everybody so my name is Zakia Ringgold of LiveSoapSchool.com as well as NaturalSoapByZakia.com and we are going to be making a sea salt escape spa bar and I just realized we don't even have a stinking mold to put it in we got all our ingredients but we don't have actually what we need to pour the soap into so what I'm going to do is invite all of you as you are coming in give us some emojis throw those hearts on the screen you know share it out with your friends your family your Facebook friends and or foes doesn't really matter they need everybody needs soap everybody needs soap sing it with me sing it with me no I'm just kidding but welcome 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 to the broadcast we already have you for sight checking in which is always good to see him because he comes in and he lets us know much love much respect and right back to you so if you have never been here with me before live I am a handcrafted soap maker teacher author all of that fun stuff and what I'm doing is I'm going to my own page and actually doing what it is that I'm asking you to do which is to share the broadcast if you are on Periscope watching share it out with your Perry peeps or your Twitter tweets if you are on Facebook watching host a watch party but here is the thing guys when you are hosting a watch party I'm not actually able to see the comments there so just let your folks know she can't see it she can't hear it and so I'm going to my page now I got my Perry cousin Tamiko over there saying what's up girl how you doing so I need to share it um what it won't let me do it hold on can you guys see me okay I need a mic check one two one two let's see Nope, it won't let me share my own broadcast. I don't understand. Um, Shannon Nelson is saying, well, hello there to you, lady. How are you? Let's see. All right, so it won't let me share. So maybe I will be able to come back and share it later. Let's get your comments up here so you guys know. Is she talking to herself? No. Kia is saying hello. You for sight is giving all the compliments at the start of the broadcast, which is always fantastic. Shannon checking in over there on the YouTube side. Good to see you. Looking good and sounding good on Facebook. Thanks for the mic check. Cassandra is sending us blessings. BMD with the thumbs up. We always like the emojis. We have cousin here. Hey, Kenny, how are you? You're fine over here. Motor City Judy with that big booty is letting us know that she can see and hear us and Shannon is saying that she is doing very well. Thanks for asking. So we're going to take you guys over to the soap cam. But before we do that, if you have your very own copy of my book, The New Soap Maker's Cookbook, Making Cold Processed Soap from Scratch, we're actually doing a make-along. We're using one of my recipes right out of here on here live. So you can actually go to the Sea Salt Escape Spa Bar. That one is in Chapter 24 and we'll be using some pink Himalayan sea salt. You probably are saying, I don't have this book. How do I get it? You can go over to bit.ly forward slash soap books. And that will take you to my Amazon author page. My books are available in both paperback as well as ebook format. Hello, Naima. Very good to see you. I think I'm going to put your comments right up here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and switch. So you. can hear me um, we like to talk to one another I'm sorry I had muted the microphone I didn't mean to do that so let's talk about the ingredients that we have right here on the table so of course we have 
all of our oils and our butter. A special shout out to our sponsor, which is Baraka Shea Butter. Guys, if you want to get some of the most incredible shea butter, head over to BarakaSheaButter.com. When I tell you this is some of the most luxurious butter with no grains, no funky smell, it's really, really awesome. So if you are looking to do some of the same recipes that I'm doing, or you are looking to actually um, try some shea butter that is actually handmade, guys. This shea butter is handmade in Ghana. And the ladies that you see on here, their whole saying is from our hands to your hands. And now they have it where it goes back again to their hands. So if you actually make a product with Baraka shea butter, you can send it back to them. And what they will do is they will send it over to the ladies in Ghana as a way of showing them this is what your products are doing. All right, let's see. Hi from Catherine. Hey, Catherine, good to see you from the Baraka side. So this recipe is going to be in the Baraka blog. And of course, the video will be there too. So if you ever have questions on how to do it, if you may have made a mistake, no problemo. No problemo because it's going to be there. And then, of course, you have this video. So number one, if you are going to make any kind of handmade soap, do as I say, not as I do, guys. Do as I say. You should have on long sleeves. I'm doing a pretty small batch here. You have me on your TV. Look, Mom, I'm famous. I'm on TV. Thanks for watching, Ollie. If you are watching on YouTube, guys, you can actually watch on your television as well. So if you're looking at a little screen, you're like, no, I need to see her in full color. You can do that too. So I'm going to go over all of the ingredients that we have right here on the table. But first things first, let's talk about what you need to do if you're going to make your soap. Number one, make sure you are wearing gloves. You want to protect your hands. Number two, you want to get yourself some goggles because if you have any splashes, you don't want this caustic stuff to go up in your eyes. It's not a good thing. Hello, Michael. Good to see you. And now let's talk about the ingredients per se. So we're using some distilled water. We're using some sodium hydroxide. Remember guys, oil and water do not mix by themselves, but we have a helper agent which creates that saponification, which is the lye solution. So in order to make that, we have the sodium hydroxide and we also have the distilled water. Aside from that, we have our ingredients. So what are going to be those things that make the soap fantastical or incredible or, you know, what we needed to do? So that would be our oils that we choose for the recipe. So the main ingredient that we're using for this recipe is coconut oil, guys. Coconut oil is extremely cleansing and extremely conditioning, depending on how you do what it is that you're going to do. Um, then we are going to be using some Baraka Shea Butter. It's only a very, very small amount. Don't let that door slam. Thank you very much. And it's a very, very small amount here that we're going to use. And then we're also going to use some castor oil. And then, of course, we have our Himalayan sea salt. I have some fine-grained Himalayan sea salt. And then on the bottom, it's a little more coarse. And I'll show you that when we go to pour it in. We also have our colors, guys, because I just like color. Everything is better in color. So we're doing a little bit of a pink and a little bit of a blue to give us that spa-like experience. And then we have two scents. I have not tested these. This is probably a bad idea to do it live, but we'll find out. One of them is called April Fresh, downy type, and the other one is Abercrombie and Fitch in the summer. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. And Carla is checking in saying, hey, hey, good to see you, Carla. Glad you were able to make it live. Josh, can you hand me those molds? They look, there's like six of them right there, or two right in front of the microwave. That's the one thing I forgot. Now, here's what I need to tell you all about making soap with sea salt. Um, there are some salts that you absolutely positively cannot use. One of them is Epsom salt. Another one is dead sea salt. I tried it. 
it did not the odds were not in my favor what that did is it created a crying bar of soap so you want to use um, a Himalayan sea salt is a great one that's what we are using today um, but you want to avoid that Epsom salt and dead sea salt it's going to make your soap it's going to constantly weep water so you don't want that in your bars so another thing is salt actually hardens the bars I feel like a teacher look at my goggles um, salt will harden your bars for you and so you don't want to put this into a really long loaf mode if you're a soap maker because it's going to be you can but you're going to need to cut that really soon because it's going to get hard in about four hours so instead what we are using are these individual cavity molds guys let me bring this up so you can see it see it a little better so these are hey Kim how are you good to see you Kim is saying hello to everyone guys hi Kim um, so these are individual cavity molds which will allow our soap to pop out a whole lot better a whole lot easier they come in all shapes and sizes you can get them on Amazon um, any cooking stores typically will have them as well these have been used and abused guys and so it will probably look like Zakia is that clean yes it's clean it's just that you know sometimes I put it in the dishwasher and all that other stuff so it warps a little bit so hand wash your silicone some of your silicone molds so we'll be using two we probably will only need one and a couple of extra ones for the bars and so now let's go back to the soap cam shall we yes we shall. boom soap cam activated all right so the first thing we're going to do is make our lye solution guys it's pretty simple one thing that we always talk about and always remind you is you always put your lye into your water never your water into your lye unless you want to have a really bad experience so i quickly pour it in sometimes you'll notice that you'll get some of that lye hanging out in there this is where your spatulas always come into play so that you can get every drop of that sodium hydroxide out of the container get it out of there or you know as much as as much as humanly possible ever you're all bases ran number one i need to give a shout out to the members of soap nation if you are a part of soap nation go ahead and put in a hashtag soap nation or if you're here from the baraka clan put in hashtag baraka clan now let me show you guys and i'm thinking soap nation because what they're doing is they're letting me know that everything is working appropriately everywhere that i think i am so there are my eyes and my ears where I can't be because I'm actually live streaming. So as you can see, this goes to a really cloudy color. And what that does is it's combining that water with the sodium hydroxide and we're just stirring it really well to make sure it's 100% incorporated. Now you will get some fumes out of here, guys. So I wouldn't recommend that you stand over it and kind of like inhale exhale you see how i'm kind of standing off to the side the reason that we're doing that is so that we're not inhaling those fumes another reason why we have our gloves on is because if we get a splash we wanted to splash the glove not our skin so this is very caustic in this state raw soap batter is very caustic in this state so you want to be very very cautious when you're working with it don't do it all willy-nilly don't do it all willy-nilly just make sure you have everything um and you're taking care as you're doing it try and be in a well ventilated area as well so we're going to continue to stir this stir this stir this so you see how it's going from that very cloudy and it's almost a transparent color that is all the blending that we need to do we have drea checking in from soap nation let's see gotta love and leave okay jackie so glad so glad you were able to join us um ali says no huffing no huffing just stir it and let it be 
So we have that. I'm going to put that off to the side. Then we're going to combine all of our ingredients. So now normally what I would do is I would melt these down, but I was running a little late. I'm going to be 100. We're transparent here, right? We're honest with each other. We're, we're going to be honest with each other. I was running late. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow the heat from this lye solution to melt our oils and butters for us. Um, if you would prefer, you can melt everything down, have everything in a liquid state before you can combine them. But, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that. And it sounds like my neighbor has decided to cut their grass. Are you watching me? Huh? No, thank you. Um, and so we're going to try and talk a little bit louder. Krista, hello there. Very good to see you. Thanks for the wave. Thanks for the wave. So we're going to go ahead and add in our castor oil here. And if you have your copy of the new Soap Makers Cookbook, this is the Sea Salt Escape Spa Bar. And I think that's chapter 24. And now you get to make it with me. Pull your books out, guys. Pull your books. All right. Or go get your books. Either way. Either way. Doesn't matter. And as you can see, I am attempting to scrape to make sure we get every bit of that goodness out of there. Now we're going to go with our shea butter, and we only needed a small amount of that. I think the recipe called for 32 grams of the shea butter. So that's right in there. And now I'm just going to kind of take my spatula and just incorporate it all together. So we have all of our ingredients just hanging out. Oh, I'm missing your comments. I'm sorry, guys. Um, hey, Caroline. Oh, Josh put it. No, I don't need anything from the grocery store, sir. Um, great. I can comment on you. I know, Drea. It's a pain in the butt. All right, so we have all of that incorporated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in our lye solution. Now, be very careful at home with this. The temperature is hot. You want to know how hot, Johnny? I'll tell you. Oh, it shouldn't have did that. Oh. You know why it's doing that? My dad going. My dad going thermometer. My heat gauge is broken. I swear, our Amazon wish list is coming. It's going up and down, up and down. Yeah, I need a new one. But it's at least 160 degrees. I'm new to your group. Where do you buy the book? Kim Coleman, number one, welcome to the group. Welcome to Soap Nation. We're happy to indoctrinate you, to indoctrinate you. But you can go to Amazon. All of my books are available on Amazon if you go to bit.ly forward slash soap books. Um, let's see. Hey there, Whirly Springs. How are you? Tanya is checking in, checking in. Soap Nation, make sure you welcome Kim Coleman. That is totally cool to get a visual look at what you're reading. Yeah, instead of trying to put a thermometer in there and then burning the bejesus, the bejesus off of my fingers. What else are you saying? Bring her home some flowers and chocolates. In case you're still here, Josh, that's what the... That's what the doctor ordered, and Krista is welcoming you guys. So, if you are just now joining us, welcome! I do understand that the way live stream is set up, you're not here from the beginning to the middle to the end. You come in and out at different points. I am Zakia Ringold of LiveSoapSchool.com, as well as NaturalSoapByZakia.com. And one amazing thing is that Baraka Shea Butter has become a sponsor of Live Soap School. And so I have several books on soap making. It's the new Soap Makers Cookbook series, which is created for brand new soap makers to get through all of the fluff, all of the unnecessary stuff, and get right to soap making. And tonight, what we are doing is we are making a recipe from my second book. This one is the new Soap Makers Cookbook making cold i'm gonna bring you guys up here so you can see this one here this is the recipe that we're pulling this from this is the new soap makers cookbook making cold processed soap from scratch and we're using our sea salt spa escape recipe out of there 
This recipe will also be posted on the Baraka blog. So if you want to try this at home, you most certainly can. Baraka does carry coconut oil. They also carry shea butter. So you'll be able to actually um, get two of the primary ingredients in this recipe right from their website. And so we are at the point now where we're about to start mixing. And so I'll be able to bring you guys back. Hopefully I have caught you up. The soap cam. There it is. Let's see. Let me make sure I haven't lost our sound. Sound is good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pour in our lye solution. And because the lye solution is hotter than the melting point for our oils, it should melt these nicely, guys. So I'm going to slowly use my spatula to encourage it to blend together just a little bit. Oh, the humidity is yucky. Yeah, it's been pretty bad here too. Um, the temperature has gone really, really high. Um, so I'm just letting this incorporate a little slowly. And it's starting to melt down. It takes a little while. I probably should have broke the shea butter up into smaller chunks, but that's okay. It's melting. I mean, it does melt upon contact onto the skin, so that's pretty good too. So did I miss any other comments? Are any of you new? Type in a number one if you are new. Type in a number two if you have been here before. Like, uh, no, Zakia. This is not my first time at the rodeo in any state. And I know we have a little bit of a delay um, on the broadcast. So I'll hold, off, I'll hold off judgment that you guys are not commenting just yet. It is so hot and muggy today. Where are you guys watching from? Where are you guys watching from? So I'm letting this kind of do its thing and encouraging it by breaking it up with the stick blender. But as you can see, that is melting down beautifully. Um, Krista is from Idaho. Rebecca Hone, welcome. Very first time. We normally have a um, Soap Nation welcome dance, but unfortunately I can't do it right now. My hands are a little full. Um, Mrs. Mimi has been here before. Kia has been here before. Thea Nadell, welcome, welcome. First time. Don't make it your last. Come on, keep coming back now. Why don't you? Ali is in West Virginia. Miss PMJ1 is in Delaware. Miss Caroline is in Wisconsin. Rebecca is in Georgia. Now, the interesting thing about all of that, guys, is that all of you are in very hot places. I'm not sure about Wisconsin. Is it very hot there? Um, Modesto, California. Nice, Mimi. So I'm just using this to break it up just a little bit more and then I'm gonna go in with our stick blender. And I should check that temperature. I don't really trust the reading of this because there's no way that went down to 98 degrees. I really don't trust the temperature. I really need to go ahead and invest in a new um, heat gun. A new, well it's not really a heat gun. Barbara is, let's see. Oh, it's a lot of you. Hello from New York City, your cake crush. I love your username. Kim is number two from the couch. I am watching you from the couch, Zakia. She's from the couch. Um, Miss Lady Boss, how you doing? All the way from Maryland. They have the best crabs in Maryland, in case you were wondering. Barbara, your very first time. Don't make it your last, but welcome from Ohio. And Miss Lady Boss said, oh, and hey girl, hey. Um, in the summer, it is hot. And Naima is definitely not a newcomer. And she's from Detroit. Well, I'm Zakia. I am from Philadelphia. And I absolutely, positively love everything about handcrafted artistry. It allows me to express my own creativity. It has allowed me to go to places that I probably wouldn't have gone to otherwise. And I have met a ton of amazing people that are just as interested in the craft as I am. So now I'm gonna use our stick blender and that's going to break up the remainder of that. See, we got a chance to commiserate with one another. Thanks, I enjoy, I enjoy having you, my dear. And we're gonna use our stick blender 
And you're going to watch alchemy right in the bowl. Ready, 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 step it. Here we go. Oh yeah, nice and creamy. Don't be dreamy, nice and creamy. Debbie is from upstate New York. Nice and cool weather here tonight. Well, it wasn't nice and cool when we were, it was nice and hot. Deb is the founder with a team of several people of the Old Sage Apothecarian Group. And they had a conference this past weekend, which was absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely incredible, guys. So we have this nice and blended. And I don't want to blend too much, guys. This is... First of all, because the temperatures are so high, I do want to give myself a chance to work with it. And I also want to go ahead and add our salt in. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with these fragrances. So I'm going to be a little bit careful. A little bit careful now. What? A little bit careful now. There's Deb right there, guys. She's from upstate New York, which is where we were. It's near Syracuse. All right. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything that I had along the side is actually within the batter. So I'm gonna stir, stir, stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. You don't want to say hi to me. Laura was on Facebook talking to Miss Soap Queen. Was she on the actual broadcast, Lorraine? But hello to my California twins, Laura and Lorraine. Unfortunately, the comment did not come up here. Sometimes Facebook is a little bit testy. It's like a test tube baby where it just does what it wants. But hello, Laura and Lorraine. I have some candles that are waiting for you guys. All right. So as you can see, that is nice and mixed. We're going to go ahead and add in our salt at this point. I don't have an Etsy shop. All of my products are sold on my website, which is natural soap by Zakia. Great question though. So this is going to be packed with a ton of this pink Himalayan sea salt, which is going to actually exfoliate our skin. It's also going to, con well it's not going to condition, um, but all of those minerals from the Himalayan sea salt are going in there as well. So as you can see, that is very, very fine um, in terms of the quality. Um, but now we're getting down to where I have some of the coarser sea salt. And that's how I like to do our soap. Because I like it to be fine, but then I also want you to actually feel some of that exfoliation. And who else is saying something? I'm loving this live stream. I am so glad to hear that all the way from North Carolina. Come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. Whip it around your head like a helicopter. I know I messed that song up. Cynthia is saying, your YouTube videos are lit. Hot like fire. Hot like fire. I found you again, shiz. That's three days in a row. It's something awesome about, damn it, I'm late. Never late, always on time. It's going to get extra hard too, very hard. So I got to shut up, stop trying to be all interactive and engaging and get this thing done. That's a fellow soap maker like Zakia. We understand that you're broadcasting. We understand that you want to interact with your folks, but you got stuff to do or you won't be able to do it. So as you can see, the sea salt is getting thicker at this point. And that's because we have the coarse grade of the Himalayan sea salt as well. So I'm just slowly incorporating it, guys. If you are following the recipe out of the book or on the blog, because again, this will be on the Baraka blog, just slowly incorporate it so that it's evenly distributed, guys. So I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it'll focus, focus. It won't focus, but I'm telling you, it's in there. And the last little bit, we are using a total of 14 ounces, 14 ounces of the Himalayan sea salt. I want to try that soap, absolutely. So we'll only probably have about six bars. I keep them with the new soap makers cookbook i don't give you guys 20 pound recipes because i want you to actually try them see how you like them and so there are two pound recipes that we're doing which typically will give you about six bars of soap um looks pretty hello laura hello nina rose very good to see you thank you for joining 
And so that, guys, is going to be a very exfoliating bar. Now, for all of my students that are in live soap school, we did do a heavy super fat with this because we had so much coconut oil. And I know a lot of people absolutely positively love coconut oil for their skin, but too much of it can be drying. And that's not what we want. That is not what we want. And so now I'm going to, here's the moment of truth. Is this, I need you guys to send us some good vibes only that this does not seize our soap. And it's behaving. Go ahead, Abercrombie. Go ahead now. Yes. Yes, Carol Ann. Um, if you are a soap maker, you know that sometimes when you're using a brand new fragrance, it can morph. It can cause your soap to get rock hard instantly. Um, and so that was just a really, really good thing because I had not... Oh, it smells amazing. But of course, I'm always going to do a custom blend. I don't just do one. We're going to mix that one with our April Fresh Downy type. What? And these came from the gathering that I was at. The suppliers um, actually gave a ton of samples to us. I actually have a whole box of samples from them. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Where can you get the salt? Well, I get mine online. Um, you can actually go to a grocery store. Grocery stores definitely sell um, pink Himalayan sea salt. I will look at the sponsors and see if any of them offer the Himalayan sea salt. We did have a bag of Himalayan sea salt. Donna is a newbie just joining in. Well, Donna, welcome to the broadcast. JT is asking, well, how long is that going to last? I want to give you my money, but I'm not really sure if I should give you my money. Well, the answer to that is it really depends on you and how often you bathe. Some people will bathe once a day. Some people will bathe three times a day. So it just depends. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this out so that we can add, I don't even wanna add color to that. That is a beautiful shade. So I'm going to add just some color to this side. I thought I was going to do two colors, but I love the net. You can't, it's not coming up here, but there's a beautiful shade of pink happening right there. A beautiful shade of pink. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna grab our little colorant. We have our little mini whisk tool here. Make sure it's all incorporated and not hanging out down there at the bottom. Hey, Chica, Sarah done checked in. How you doing? Um, newbie Donna again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very happy that all of you are able to be here. Make sure that wherever you are hearing the sounds of my voice, that you have gone ahead and clicked that follow, like, or subscribe button. So then that way you get notified the next time that we go live. Yeah, it was very naturally pretty, but I wanna bring out the essence of that um, pink Himalayan sea salt and we're gonna help it out with a little bit of pink mica coloring. Just to bring it up just a little bit. And for people who are looking for 100% natural, you can avoid adding the fragrance and then you can also avoid adding the colorant and allow it to do it naturally. You all know that I have infused a ton of herbs and so we'll be doing some experimenting with natural coloring with that in a bit. So that's just a really, really light pale pink. Um, beautiful day. Can you put, let's pull that up, dry flowers in at the end. You most certainly can. I know a lot of people who will put um, I'm going to put a little more pink. Um, a lot of people will put um, rosebuds on the top as like decoration going right down the middle. But because of the mold that I'm going to be using, it's not going to work. If I were to put this in a loaf, which I don't recommend doing because this is going to get pretty solid pretty quickly. Yeah, now we got the shade we want. So should we leave this its natural color back here? Or should we go ahead and add our original mind, which was this nice shade of blue right here. 
But that's a great question, Linda. The one thing that a lot of us soap makers love is the ability to experiment, guys. The ability to experiment with all kinds of ingredients, whether that be oils, whether that be butters, whether that be um, the herbs, any of those things that happens because you are getting to choose all of the ingredients in your soap. And that's not something that you get from a commercial bar. Um, a commercial bar, you get what you get and you don't get upset. So don't buy it. Head over and make your own. Um, I do have an online school where I teach you how to make soap, how to formulate your recipes, how to calculate it. You can check that out at livesoapschool.com. Try color. Yolanda coming. Like, uh uh. I was like, hey, y'all. Let's get one more color. One more color for good measure. I think that's a great idea, actually. So I'm going to follow, follow, follow. All right, it's starting to get thicker, so I do need to shut it up. I need to shut it up and keep it moving. Shut up and keep on talking. Um, put color to it. Laura, too. Laura came in like, uh-uh. We don't do no plain Jane, but I do like a tri -cut. Look at that teal. Do you guys see that teal blue? <gasps> Linda, listen, listen, Linda, listen. And then at least you'll be able to see, it'll probably go more of a green, um, but you'll be able to see what the natural color is and what we get when we add in those additional colors. So I like the tri-color effect. And then we're gonna pour this right in our molds. Nina's laughing. It was like L O L blue. The natural pink will lighten it. Yeah. So I'm getting more of a Tiffany blue here. And then you can actually see some of the Himalayan salt right in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Hey, big girl. Won't you back it up? Mm -mm. Won't you back it up? Say what? Hey, big girl. Won't you back it up? Okay. If you guys don't know the Wobble song, you haven't been to a barbecue block party or just a regular party ever i'm always the not so big girl running out to the floor when that song comes on they're like zakia sit yourself down somewhere like i could do it i could do it if i want to all right so we're going to start with our net let's pour this up so you guys can oh the numbers dropped like oh god she's dancing i gotta get out of here Ooh. all right so we're gonna go ahead and pour that in and do you guys see that consistency? And it's getting thicker already. Probably didn't need that much. I'm just going to do a smaller amount at the bottom. And we're definitely going to have to tap this baby. Tap her down. And then we're going to allow this to sit for... 24 hours, although you can probably take this out in about eight hours. It's go. It's freezing. No. Sorry. Go out and come back in. Good now. Okay, great. I want a little less in that top one. I just want them to be uniform, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I was listening to Mary J. Blige earlier. You couldn't tell me that my life wasn't fine, 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 fine. Ooh. Yes, indeed, it was. There's that one. And that one. And one more for good measure. One more for good measure. And, of course, we do have to get it all out, guys. These oils are expensive, and it does us no good having it stay in the bowl we want it in the bar get it out of the bowl into the bar as much as humanly possible so that's what we're going to do oh that one's looking that one's looking a little janky that one's looking are you guys okay because i see the dogs are crying darn it laura i'm so sorry in case you guys are new laura's dogs don't like me singing so much they typically go howling to the other side of the house when I go live and I actually start singing. So.
So I'm now just taking our blue and putting it right along the sides of this. And this part, guys, is completely up to you. There is no right or wrong way to do this. I could have even attempted to do an in the pot swirl, but I think that would have been kind of trying to do too much with this salt in there. I kind of want all of the colors to remain independent from one another. Hey, Soap Nation. Thanks for checking in, Damiana. Um, are those half circle molds? Yes, they are. These are half circle. See, I probably... Hmm. We'll find out in a minute if I have enough soap to fill up 12 of these. Should have probably filled one first. Because we're running out of blue. We're running out of blue. Oh yeah, look at that. See what I said about it getting hard? Look at that. Oh, that was your sister. Now for one moment, before I looked up at the screen, I had recaptured that moment of zen that got me into soap making. When it's really, really quiet and you just are kind of in creation mode, it's a really awesome experience. And you kind of get into a state of mindfulness, which is amazing. And then the other nice part about that is you get to get in the shower with something that you made and use it every single day every day i haven't gone into a store to buy soap in four years I'm just going to fill this with the paint. And I, you guys can't see it, but I can actually see the salt right in there. Yeah, I probably should have did just one of these and filled it. Now I'm probably going to have a little bit of air pockets because this definitely should have been tapped down once or twice by now. Looks like a taco.
Now, if you want it, you could top her off with a little more sea salt. However, what I'm doing right here is the bottom of the soap. The top of the soap is the round part. Man, this really, really smells like um, downy dishwasher sheets. That's what I'm smelling. Um, slam those molds. Do you use twice as much cocoa or shea? Do you have to spray the mold anything so it doesn't stick? No. Um, this recipe does not require any extra. Hold on. I'll tell you guys in a second because this is going to get really hard. All right. Let's get that one slammed down. Let's beer up. Yeah, they ain't got, those things not moving. It's not moving, guys. It looks like a watermelon. Watermelon, you say? All right, that's going to be like a half bar right here. You know what? How about we put that into one? That's what we're going to do. I can't do a half bar. That's, that's an in-the-mold swirl. Okay, guys, in case you were wondering. We swirled it in the mold. I'm going to make these smooth here. Hello, daughter. Hello. <laughs> Almost done. We're at the end. Okay, guys, so this recipe will be posted on the Baraka web blog, and then you'll also be able to get um, more recipes right in the new Soap Makers Cookbook, Ingredients for Cold Process Soap Making. Um, if you have any questions at all, I will be looking up in just a second to see what you guys have typed in on those comments. And of course, Feel free to send us a message. Shoot us some other stuff. All right, let's get that. I just messed that back up, but hopefully it'll come across good. It's like um, icing a cake, but you don't eat this one. You don't eat this cake. You bathe with this cake. All righty. And there you have it, folks. We got ourselves some soap. Um, thank you, Zakia. Linda, listen, Linda, listen. You guys, let's see. I got some more that I could possibly scrape on out of here. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to scrape it all into one. And then this will become my test bar for here at home. So if you guys have just joined, some amazing person has shared this broadcast and you're like, what in the world? I want to eat it. First of all, you can't eat it. First of all, you cannot eat this. Um, we are making handmade soap from my cookbook. It is the new soap makers cookbook making cold processed soap from scratch. So if you have my book, you can go to chapter 24 and this is the recipe that is in there. 
if you're watching this because you got the blog entry with it, which also has the recipe, um, and you want to get your own copy of the book, which has a total of 15 recipes in there, head over to bit.ly forward slash soap books. That's my Amazon author page, which lists all of my books that are available in paperback and ebook format. So if you want to have it on your Kindle, I personally like to have a paperback so that I can take notes on what I like, what I didn't like, what was awesome, what was terrible. Um, but either way, in that way, you'll have a list of all the supplies, all the ingredients, the steps to make your own soap from scratch, all of that in one nice book. So let me see what comments you got. And then I'm going to let you guys get on up out of here. Those calls. All right, what you guys saying? Lenza, listen. Um, okay, oh boy, there's a lot of questions. Hold on. That was your sister. Ali is saying, will the texture be a soft? Here, I can actually come this way. So Ali is asking, will the texture be a soft exfoliating um, a soft exfoliate. Yes, that's exactly. I could take my goggles off. Boy, boy, goggles. Um, it will be a nice exfoliating bar. It's going to be a hard bar of soap that's going to last. Put the pink on the outside. Darn it, Laura. I missed your creative guidance. Do you use twice as much coconut oil to shea butter? Um, I don't think I did that. I think there was about four times as much coconut oil in the recipe than... Um, any of the other ingredients. Um, slam those molds. We kind of did. Maybe we didn't. We'll find out. We'll find out when we take it out tomorrow. Lin, um, Tamiko is saying thank you. Thank you, Tamika McCurry, for bringing me here. Linda, we always are happy to have new members of Soap Nation. If I was a kid still, I would be eating if I talked back. <laughs> those colors. Yes, Carol Ann. Let me show you those colors one more time. And I wish you guys could smell the hot. Actually, the mistake bar or the last bar is actually my favorite. I probably should have did a little bit more in terms of the swirling and keeping the colors. But, you know, I didn't plan that so well. I didn't plan it so well. You, The awesome thing is you are able to do whatever it is that you want with your creations. The only thing is you have to follow the rules of soap science. So some oils are going to give you some properties. Some oils are going to give you other properties. Um, how you formulate your recipe is definitely something that you have to take into consideration. You have to make sure that you're being safe with what it is that you're making because you don't want to burn your butt and you don't want to burn your skin or anybody else in your family who end up being willing guinea pigs. Thank you. Yes, also, um, let's see. If I was a kid, I would still be eating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell all of you good night. Thank you all for tuning in. All of you on the Baraka clan, I know you're watching in the Philippines, in Australia, in Canada, in Ghana. Thank you for being here. All of you that are watching on the YouTube side, we just got up to about 500 subscribers over there. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you click that subscribe button. Um, and all the Periscope peeps, this all started on Periscope and it has been fantastic. So I'm Zakia Ringel where I am telling all of you that it is so much more than soap. Good night, everybody.